going to be using for the blennies. I'm going to take about a few centimeters, say about that much there. And I've got a size 10 hook. Don't need no weights. These blennies are right at the surface and this small little crack. Take about this here. It's useful to use smaller baits because they are quite, um, quite hard to catch. Like to nibble onto stuff. Just thread it on like a normal worm. And just that should do there. Just about that. And right over the edge I find exactly where they are hiding. So as soon as I drop them, should be able to guide it into the cracks just there. Exactly what I didn't want to happen is right into the cracks. Oh, there he is. Oh, jeez. Right, he was just in a crack. I thought I'd snag. Good thing about blennies is if you scare them away, they come back. They're always hungry. So here we have our first blenny, tiny little guy, still, whoops, he'll be fine, he'll be fine, S still very small, quite small, I'm just gonna put him back, but see that there, there's a lot of them, about 10, at least 10 of them, it's crystal clear water, all you do, all I'm doing, I mean, I'm just dropping down that piece, it's probably hard to see, but you can pretty much just see the blennies pouncing onto it, onto the bit. There we go. And off he goes. Let's get him hooked and bring him out. So here we have our second blenny, slightly bigger. wedge themselves inside and you have to basically temp them out so all I'm using is a smaller piece of worm just so if they're smaller blennies they'll just get onto the hook basically trying to position in front of one of the cracks and holes down there just free lining it down This is a good way how I do it, basically just pierce just a tiny bit for the smaller ones so when they pounce onto it, there's just just a bit of the hook point exposed just enough that'll just nick in the side of their jaw. So yeah, let's catch some more. 